So I've gone through and gapped most of the panels right. If you notice, this is all the, the, the gaps are finally right on it, except for this little part here. I still have to do this. I did the rest of it and I'm thinking, well, I probably should have made a video. So you've got to kind of get this pretty close. You know, and it was way off. It's an aftermarket hood. So what I did was I just cut out the, the spot welds and bent it down and then re-welded those, those other four corners. And uh, so let me show you how I did it on this corner. You can see that it's too high. See right there, see how high that is? That's uh, about a quarter of an inch, which is way too much to body fill. You see it's about right there. And then it just kind of gaps up. We're gonna fix that. All right, how do I do it? Let's check it out. What I have to do is I have to drill out these spot welds past where it is. You know, of course, you got to let the metal bend. I bent the corner, but it just wasn't quite enough still. So I'm going to have to drill all these out. So let's get to it. First, you want to use your center punch. These things are uh, just a little bit of like that. through both sheets if you want, but I try to just drill through the top one. I know they make a better spot weld tool, but I had to order one because I thought I was done cutting out all the spot welds in the car. And I figured on the next one, I'd buy that other cool tool. And I thought, man, that's pretty nice because it, it cleans the hole entirely instead of just leaving a little, cutting a little, kind of like a hole saw. So, I definitely wish I had it now because I would use it today. Plus the way it stands, this only allows me to go down the thickness of the gap. So that means in the front, I'm going to have to probably use my, my little belt sander, which I'll show you in a little while. I like that tool. It's a by 3M. I started buying a little bit of tools now that I have kind of all the tools that you really need to work on cars. I mean, you can always get more tools. There's always more specialty things and stuff like that. But. For the most part, what I have will do basically everything that I need.
So this tool that I'm going to show you, I just got off Amazon. I saw it on, yeah, I think it's made by Step. It's a weld tool. Here it is. Part number 20015. I got it on Amazon. If anybody wants the link, I'll try to put it up, but just let me know. I try to stay up on the comments, but you know, I am a human being, so work with it. That one's loose. That one's loose. I don't want to distort the metal too much, so I'm just making sure that they're loose. And as long as they're loose, I don't really care, you know? This works a lot better. A lot, a lot better than the screwdriver. Yeah, I like it. I'm really happy I got it. Definitely. Definitely makes popping these welds out much easier. Because I've been using screwdrivers. And it's a real pain sometimes. So if you look at these, you'll see there's like a little nipple there, and that's going to stop it from going down, all right? So I have to grind those down. I use is a, a Harbor Freight Vulcan Omni Pro 220. I really like it. I've had Lincolns, I've had Millers, I've used Hobart's before, and uh, this one's really simple. You just tell it the thickness of the wire, the thickness of your metal, you turn on your gas, and you go. It's pretty straightforward. Cooled off enough. Woohoo, my well held. All right, let's see if I can, how far I can tap this down. I can only go so much, you know, so whatever I can go, that's what I've got to stop at, you know. But, you know, it's nice to make sure I get it just as far down as I can. Here we go. the right depth the other way. Now I'll take my little vice grips. Never know anything was ever changed on it. You'll just think, wow, this guy got lucky and got that. 
So you're probably wondering, like, how are you going to weld that big old hole there? Well, I found this little tool right here, and the thing works great. Somebody recommended it. I think it might be my my ex-wife's husband, who is a professional welder, and told him I was how I was struggling with welding things and uh, burning through. And he's like, "We'll get a." I think this is either copper or brass vacuum plate. So this one, I'm probably just going to use this because I can kind of hold it in there and get just a couple tacks here and there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. You know, think of working on your car like an ugly woman, okay? No matter what you do, you better wear protection. Because if you don't, it could end up costing you. There we go. It's a lot better now. Now I can body work that. I haven't decided if I'm going to weld those in or not. I'm trying to use as much original metal as I can. I, I prefer that. It's kind of, no reason to buy new metal just because you have money or, or because it's available. Let's check it out. So there we go. Barely a difference now compared to what it was. The gaps on the hood are nice, nice and tight. Nice and tight in here. Gap down there is nice. So, all nice and smooth tap a little high spot there but it's all I would say within an eighth of an inch so you don't really want to do too much more than an eighth of an inch ideally it would be perfect but you know I don't live in a perfect world my cars don't either you know <laughs> 